Uh, we're live. Here we go. So the work for 5B, uh, we already have everything here, right? Yeah. It says uh, 4 times 1 minus 0. 0.6 to the n over 1 minus 0. 0.6 equals the sum 9.9998683789. The only thing missing is the what? Exponent. So I already hinted, not really hinted, told you that you're going to use logs to solve this problem. Let's see how. What is 1 minus 0 0.6? 0 0.4, right? What is 4 divided by 0.4? 10. So on this side we have 10 times 1 minus 0 0.6 to the n equals 9.9998683789. See that 10? How do you get rid of it? We're going to divide both sides by 10. So on the left side, we'll have what's left in the parentheses. What happens to this decimal when you divide by 10? The decimal point moves one place to the left. The reason all these decimal places are so important, sir, is that when you do logs, logs are very sensitive to how many decimal places there are. All right? So you need to punch in as many as are listed to get a very accurate answer. N should be what kind of number? The number of terms. It should be an integer, right? A whole number because you can't have half a term. Okay, so here we go. Uh, at this point, we're going to take away 1 from both sides. Ready? When you take away 1 from a big decimal like that, it's going to be negative, first of all. Point. Every digit's going to add up to 9 with a digit above it, except the last one, which should add up to 10. A little shortcut here. Instead of punching that in the calculator, 9 plus what makes 9? 0. 9 plus what makes 9? 0. 0. 1. 3. 1. 6. 2. 2. The reason is, if you added these together now, it would be 10, carry the 1, 10, carry the 1, 10, carry the 1, 10, carry the 1, carry the 1, carry the 1, carry the 1. What would this plus this be? What would this plus this equal? 1, which is what we subtracted. A eh, little mental math there. See these negative sides, signs? If both sides are negative, make them both positive, right? It's the same as both being positive, because when you divide a negative by a negative, you just get a positive, all right? So ignore the negative signs. At this point, we're ready to log, all right? So we're going to take the log of the big decimal on the right, divided by the log of the base. And that should give you your n. Can you throw my calculator back? Type it in, just as you see it. It's very sensitive to uh, the, the decimal place. Ready? Here we go. Point. How many zeros? One, two, three, four. One, three, one. Six, two, two. Close it. Divide it by the log of point six. You get 21.9999999999. So how many terms do you think there are? 22. We were even very careful putting all those decimal places in, and it still didn't give us the whole number 22, but it was pretty close. All right, so there are 22 terms in that series.